For this first question, we're asked to find the test grade that we're looking for if we want the final average to be a 90. And we are given four scores already, and we want to know that fifth score and with this 90 average right here. So based on the definition of average being the 90 is going to be equal to all five scores added up in our numerator divided by five. That's what we're going to be looking for. We know we already have a 92, an 85, a 96, 100, and then we have this unknown fifth score, and that's what we're looking for. Now we could add up all these numbers, and when we add up the four known values, we have now that 90 is going to be equal to 373 plus X, that unknown, divided by five. When we multiply 90 times five, we get 450 equals the 373 plus X. So to find our unknown, we're gonna take the 450 and subtract from that the 373 of the points we already have. And that leaves us 77. So at a minimum, Matt needs to score a 77 to have an average of 90. And that is answer choice A. Taking a look at question two, we are given the baseball ticket sales for each of the players and we want to know the mean, median, and mode. So we've got to know the definition of each of these three. And so we have a number of ticket sales for how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different scores. So that's what we're going to be looking for. So first off, we need the mean. And you can add these numbers up and divide by ten. Put that in your calculator. Have the, the mean calculated whichever way you work best. I'm going to add those up. When I add those up, I get a total of 223 divided by 10 is going to give me 22.3 for a mean or average. And so I'm going to look at my score and we're given the mean in the, the very first option, 22.3. And the only one that fits for is option C. It's the only one with 22.3. I could stop there if I feel good that I've calculated the mean. Another thing I wanted to take a look at is when you're solving this question for mean, median, and mode, you can take a look and see which one of those three options are going to be the quickest thing for you to calculate. Now, mean is not that difficult. Add them up, divide by 10, but there were 10 numbers we had to add up. So what I would almost look at is mode because mode is the value that occurs the most often. So when we're looking at this, at this data set of 10 numbers, we see 20 occurs three times. One, two, three. So 20 is going to be our mode. That left us with answer choice A, C, and D. So we couldn't automatically answer the question just from mode, but there could be a question where each of the values are unique and the mode would have given us the answer. So that's a couple of things to think about. If, if something is easier to calculate, even though it was in the, the third item of mean, median, and mode, you don't have to answer those in that order. You, can or, you want to answer in the order that's going to give you the quickest answer. So either way, that just gives you a few things to think about as you're working through problems and doing ACT prep. But our answer in this case is answer choice C, given by the mean of 22.3, median of 21, and a mode of 20. Let's go ahead though and look at the median just in case you're given a question and you need to know how to calculate. Is the middle value when you order the terms at least from greatest to least or least to greatest, whichever one you're most comfortable. And when we have 10 values, we know that it's an even number. And so our middle position is going to be between the fifth and the sixth. We're going to take those two values, the fifth and the sixth value, average them, and that's going to give us the median. So we at least need to order to five and six. So I'm going to start from least to greatest, and I'm going to begin with 15. So, and I'm going to put a little dot, and so making sure that I've covered everything. Then the next value would be 18, 
and then the next largest value it's going to be our 20 three 20s 20 20 and 20 so that's position 3 position 4 and position 5 our next value in least to greatest is going to be 22 so 22 is going to place be placed right there as the sixth position now we still have positions for 7 8 9 and 10 but I really only need to take the average of the fifth and the sixth position which when I see the average between 20 and 22 is going to give us the 21 and that matches with what we had with answer choice C now the only thing about doing this and stopping your ordering and not having to continue is just making sure confirming that you do have least to greatest and you haven't left anything out we could do a visual check after 22 is four more values of 32 25 24 and 27 which are all larger than 22 for question three we are given a chart here and be prepared to look at different charts on the ACT and feel comfortable with those we are told that Susan is an advertising manager and this is a monthly report of her monthly sales in this chart and we're asked for the average number of Susan's ads per magazine to the nearest 0 0.1 we've got to possibly do some rounding we'll see we know from this first column that the number of Susan's ads in a magazine she can range from one to five and then our right hand column tells us how many magazines have each of those numbers of ads in their magazines so if we're given that there's one ad in three ma magazines that gives us a total of one times three three ads for this first row two ads are in five magazines so two times five is going to give us ten three ads in seven so three times seven gives us twenty one four ads in four magazines gives us four times four is sixteen and five ads in two magazine gives us five times two ten so we need to add up these five numbers and we are going to get 60 60 total ads in how many we're looking for ads per magazine 60 ads in how many magazines well here's the number of magazines in this column here 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 4 is 19 20 21 so we have 21 total magazines so now we may want to use our calculator because we're going to have some kind of decimal 60 divided by 21 and I get I get 2.857 and we're told to round to one decimal point that's approximately and that's going to give us approximately 2.9 we're going to round up to 2.9 based on this 5 here and that is answer choice A